Hello and welcome to the Goon Talk. Back in with you guys for another show, for another episode of our series called The Quick Take. Now, this is, of course, the show where I get you the views of our regular podcasters. Now, this, I'm hoping, if I've stuck to my own schedule, will be released around 6 p.m. UK time on Monday, meaning that it will be three hours before our podcast goes live with Kenny Ken and Deludi Guna. So, hopefully, you will tune in for that live show at nine o'clock and if this is being watched on playback and you're actually ahead of time which is really weird when you consider it because you're talking about you being ahead of me in time but you're now looking at me back in time really weird scenario but in that case please do go check out the podcast that has already happened and been done and you can watch that of course Um, But I hope you're here to listen to the uh, ramblings of those guys instead of the ramblings that I'm going on right now. Before you do though, uh, each week we are going to do a predictions league uh, and we started that against Aston Villa. Now everyone in the group, as you can see there on the screen, predicted a win, but no one thought it that it would be a 3-2 win to Arsenal after especially coming back from 3-2 down. And off the back of that, there's plenty for the guys to talk about ahead of a League Cup game against Nottingham Forest. So sit back, relax, and enjoy what the lads have got to say. Hey, it's Mike from the Gooners Podcast, doing another quick take because Tom asked me to do it. Look, we have a Carabao Cup game, a.k.a. EFL Cup, a.k.a. Football League Cup, a.k.a. Littlewoods Cup, a.k.a whatever you want to call it, this is the third round, and we have a game against Nottingham Forest. Okay, look, we've played Nottingham Forest recently, and I just want to point out the fact that the last time we played Nottingham Forest, a certain person went to the game, stood in in the stands, and we got beat 4-2. to two. The guy's name is Tom Canton, okay? So, look, look. If he's going to go to this game, and we need to know whether he's going to this game, we need to know this, then we're going to lose 4-2. to If he's not going to the game, and I think he's not going to the game this time, then I'm going to say that we're going to win 3-0. Because we have better players than Nottingham Forest. We are uh, more accomplished than Nottingham Forest. I don't care what the Nottingham Forest of the Brian Clough era has to do with anything, but we are better than they are. We should win. We should be able to play better players than we have for them, which is just a dumb thing to say, but I'll just say it anyway. But, like, ultimately what this comes down to is the fact that if we bring Tom Canton on this trip, we're going to lose because it happened again last week. So I'm going to pronounce right now that this game is going to be 3 to two, Nottingham Forest. Sorry, but it's a reverse, reverse jink, jinx. And if uh, if Tom decides to tell me that he's not going to this game, then I will change my pick. But like, look, at this point, we're out of the Carabao Cup, and we can just focus on the league. See ya. Good afternoon. The day after the comeback of all comebacks at the Emirates, where we managed to um, turn a 2-1 deficit into a 3-2 victory, albeit very lucky. I'm sure I'll be talking about that later on one of um, our favourite podcasts. But looking ahead, we've got a game tomorrow at the Emirates Stadium in the Carabao Cup against Nottingham Forest, who have sold out their education. I'm... When we're looking at the game in terms of team selection, I'm expecting wholesale changes. Obviously, Maitland Lars can't play because he's suspended because he's got two yellow cards. So that'd be another opportunity for Callum Chambers to um, play at right back. All centre halves, whatever you choose. Um, I expect um, a situation involving um, Emery to field the team with a lot of um, kids and Finch players. So Reese Nelson should get a lot, another look, look, at, look in the game. Also, also maybe, maybe, maybe Saka would have another run out because you know, although he's played two games in um, in four days, so maybe he should maybe get a rest. But you just never know, Vuna Emery. Also, Martinelli should start tomorrow. I expect him to start tomorrow. Mesut Ozil, I don't see Mesut Ozil playing this game at all. I, even though Mesut Ozil didn't come on yesterday, Vuna Emery's probably still seeing as a minimal part of his first team plans. 
look at Nottingham Forest as well. Nottingham Forest, um, you know, one of if they have any ambition to get into the playoffs this season, I don't think I can't see them um, them playing a full team either. But it'll be a good run out for some of their kids. In terms of the res the result or predicted result, I'm going for Arsenal two, Nottingham Forest nil. Anyone who's going to the game, please enjoy it. You know, especially um, people taking their kids for the first time. And I just hope that, you know, there's a nice atmosphere and the players um, put on a good show for the watching spectators. I'm going to go now and I'll speak to you guys later, maybe today. Hi, this is Lee Judges. My prediction for the Nottingham Forest game, Caribou Cup. Looking forward to this game because it's uh, a chance, hopefully, to see Hector Bellerin um, make his return, Rob Holding as well, and hopefully a debut for Keenan Tierney. That would be fantastic. Um, I think it's going to be a, a tricky game this because of um, the you know the exploits of the weekend, going down to ten men, and obviously playing on um, Sunday and playing this game Tuesday. I can't see um, too many of the players that participated yesterday being involved in this game so um, I, I feel it's not going to be that straightforward I also feel that you know no extra time in this so uh, go straight to penalties and that could be the case in this game as far as I'm concerned because looking at it I don't see us with a real um, out and out striker for this game so we could be um, looking to uh, create a few chances but not having anybody on the end of them so it's going to be a difficult uh, game um, they're a good side for us doing really really well in the championship so if they take it seriously this could be a banana skin for us but we are at home I just think that we may just nick this 2-1 but wouldn't be surprised if it went to uh, penalties and um, hopefully uh, Martinez can uh, get us through with some sublime goalkeeping as he's done in the Europa League my prediction though 2-1 to the Arsenal. Afternoon and welcome to my not so sneaky preview of the Nottingham Forest League Cup match tomorrow at home under the lights. Um, fully expecting Arsenal to win 3-0 at home. The kids with no pressure is looks like a better um, fit at the moment than the first 11 with pressure. So with that being said we have a match against Manchester United next uh, Monday night which takes priority over the next week. So, I'm hoping that the kids can get a good look in tomorrow and, uh, you know, put their best foot forward for themselves. Um, fully expecting the entire first 11 to be rested, which is understandable. So, a 3-0 win tomorrow. Kids all to play well, under the lights, and we go hard at it then for next Monday against United and bury that dead club. Come on! Hey, Gooner Talk listeners, this is John coming to you from Miami at 305 Cast, the Arsenal Miami podcast on Twitter. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my thoughts in the upcoming match against Nottingham. Without getting into too much detail, I would like to say that there were some positives against our performance against Aston Villa. We saw some of that coming from behind, you know, not giving up fighting mentality that we like so much in a football team. But we also saw that uh, almost losing to a newly promoted side aspect that we don't like so much and that we're all too familiar with. So there's still some questions that need to be asked to this manager uh, regarding tactics, regarding team selection, but we could put all that aside for now uh, going into this match. Uh, it's not as big of a competition as Europa League or the Premier League, so this is a perfect opportunity to rest key players. And not only is it a perfect opportunity, I think it's a necessity. I think Aubameyang needs to sit on the bench for this one, if he's even selected at all. I think that he needs the rest. He's played about 160 minutes straight in, a, in less than a week, uh, and plus whatever he's been doing in training. So being our talisman and striker and basically our only consistent goal threat at the moment, it would be prudent for Emery to rest him. I would be very surprised if we see him on the pitch and very disappointed if we see him on the pitch and very concerned if we see him on the pitch. So that being said, I think it's a perfect opportunity to use our youth players a little bit more and utilize them. Mavropanos, Nelson, Saka... Uh, maybe even Martinelli will get a shot out um, this time. I think uh, Bellerin and Tierney uh, coming back. Maybe we'll get some minutes in this game. Maybe in the second half. I'd be surprised if they started. But it's a little bit more of a comp competitive match. Although not as competitive as Europa League or the league. Than a under-23 Wolves match. Um, the team news from today showed that, that Holding is available for selection. So I wouldn't be surprised if he even starts tomorrow. Uh, maybe alongside Chambers. Who I thought had an excellent game against Aston Villa. Scored the, a very important goal. A very good goal. 
uh, and was overall a very solid performer. And I think he has been recently every time he's played for us. So there's some promising stuff going on there. Uh, I think that, like I said, this is going to be a more chill game, uh, and hopefully, and our key players are rested. That being said, I think it'll be 2-0 to the Arsenal. Come on, you Gunners. So there you have it. There is your thoughts from the boys ahead of our League Cup tie against Nottingham Forest. I hope that you enjoy that fixture. I hope you've enjoyed this show and you can tell me that you have by first of all clicking that like button, second of all subscribing to the channel if you are new and thirdly if you really want to get involved with the show more, get your comments on our live streams, click that notification little bell on your screen and you will get told when these shows go live and when you can get involved with some of our live streams and get your questions across to myself and the guys guys on the podcast which you can check out in the future unless you're watching this in the future in which you are then listening to me in the past very strange but I know that you know exactly what I mean I know that you know this is getting even weirder um thank you for tuning in I'll see you again very very soon and as always up the arsenal